Hello, and welcome to the last episode of Get to Know Their Honors, but hosted by Government House. I'm Bree, the manager of Government House, National Historic Site, Museum, and Provincial Heritage Property. Today, we're going to be asking our last questions of his honor, the Honorable Russ Morasti, Lieutenant Governor of Saskatchewan, and her honor, Donna Morasti. So the next couple questions are a little bit more serious, but important questions um, that have been asked. So the next question is from Margaret Beaumont, um, and she would like to know what you think we can do about racism in our province and our country? Well, first of all, you have to acknowledge that it exists. And we know that it does, but uh, you know, I've met people that don't really understand that or don't won't accept that it exists. So that's the first step. And then from there, it's really about why does it exist? So it, it's education. It's about learning why racism exists here in our province, in the country, around the world. And a lot of it from not understanding, uh, thinking that because that person looks different, then, then there must be something uh, that uh, I don't understand or maybe that I even fear, right? Because the person looks different, uh, speaks differently, wears different clothes, eats differently. And so we need to fully understand that. And, and, and the catch-all term obviously is education. Let's learn about each other. Let's learn about our histories, you know, what makes who we are, what we are and what has brought each of us to this point. And why is it that we sometimes fear our differences? And how can we overcome that? And a lot of that is just understanding each other. And at the end of the day, for me, it's uh, respecting the differences, respecting each other for who we are and what we are and where we come from and everything that we bring with us as, as an individual, regardless of where you're from. So that full understanding, and over that understanding, I believe will come respect eventually, because then you, you start to have a deeper understanding of people and of communities. And so, you know, it, obviously it's a discussion that we could have for a longer period of time, but those are some of the basic elements I think that for me are, are very important. And moving forward, creating an environment where everybody is, a, is seen as being equal and that equality. And uh, another word is inclusion, being included. You know, we are, we particularly here in Saskatchewan, very diverse. You know, Indigenous peoples obviously are the first peoples of this land and understanding that, you know, that history and coming to terms with the realities of whatever happened in those years uh, since contact mm -hmm. and whether it's government policy or otherwise that have caused tremendous difficulties for Indigenous people in this province and country. But I, I always believed and still do that there's a lot of uh, hope uh, to create that understanding that that we do need to, to move forward. Yeah, <clears throat> your thoughts on that? I think it's similar to Russ's, but part of my um, thing is understanding and getting to know that person or that culture and asking questions and trying to educate yourself in where are they from, why are they, what are their customs and learning from you can you can ask people ask, ask them why do you do this because a lot of us will share will share whatever if we have the differences in our culture customs we we will share and saskatchewan is so diverse with different different nationalities different um, people that have Come here, the for newcomers, and they're they're so so enthusiastic, and I hope we we can take some of that enthusiasm about them coming to our province, and we should you know try to welcome them, try to understand, and we should be kind. We should be kind to people or each other. 
Thank you. Yes. Thank you. You know, we had a tremendous opportunity uh, in our career with the RCMP, as I said earlier on, and that we had the opportunity to live from Newfoundland to British Columbia. And in every community that we lived in, we met and were introduced to people from different backgrounds and histories and even from different countries. And even within the Canadian realm, so to speak, uh, aside from recent newcomers, you know, we lived in Newfoundland where people were, were so welcoming, so friendly, and you know, they have that, uh, to a great degree, an Irish kind of uh, history and coming uh, across the Atlantic and settling there and fishing and, and just amazing, hardworking people. And in every place that we lived in Canada, same thing. You know, we went to BC, Northern BC, the logging industry and people from different countries that, that came there because that's what they wanted to do but they brought their culture with them mm -hmm. and the language. I mean, we skied with people uh, from, from Norway and from Finland. And uh, not only were they exceptional skiers, but hard working as well and contributed to that economy. And so uh, it's, it's an amazing country to live in, but we still have to overcome these situations where people look at differences as being bad. And it's really about learning, as Donna said, learn about each other, learn with each other, and learn to appreciate our differences. I always say it'd be a pretty boring world if we were all the same. Absolutely, that's right. I think the more we can learn about each other, the more we respect each other. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your response to that. The next question is, um, so we normally see you at award ceremonies and at events around the province, but during COVID-19 pandemic, how has your role changed? Well, obviously like everybody else, uh, very different, a very different world for us too, in terms of our duties and responsibilities. We were very busy coming into this role as we started and started traveling and, and going to different events. And uh, we were in the neighborhood of 230 events that we attended in uh, you know, about an eight month period. So uh, it was extremely busy. Uh, since COVID, you know, I've done a lot of work or we've done work online. We've had uh, teleconferences with my counterparts across the country. We've uh, done video messaging to different organizations, particularly here in the province. And so, you know, that didn't keep us as busy, but at least it kept us in contact with people and organizations that we'd already been working with. So uh, very different for sure. And starting to get more requests now for uh, attendance at events as the province starts to open up. And, and we're certainly looking forward to getting back to some level of activity, maybe not quite as busy as we were, but uh, certainly look forward to getting back out there and meeting people at the community level. Great. Do you have anything to add? It was, um, it was amazing to be going all over the place and then suddenly nothing. And, but I've learned how to be in virtual meetings and virtual greetings and also visiting with my grandchildren through Skype and face, FaceTime. So try to keep in touch with people that way. And it's, it's been interesting. There's yeah. also the government work that I, you know, constitutional responsibilities, they continue because the government continues to function or has, and uh, they've been very busy, obviously. And so that work continues in terms of uh, signing uh, documents that require my signature. So it's... Probably more so, actually, lately. Yeah, lately. it has been yeah. fairly fairly active, for sure. Yes. Yeah. Well, great. Well, thank you so much to both of you. This has been so nice to get to know you both a little bit better. Um, and uh, I just really appreciate you taking the time to do this with us. Well, I quite yeah. enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. This concludes our series of Get to Know Their Honours. 
I want to say thank you so much to their honors for being willing to answer the public's questions that they sent in and for sharing with us. If you want to know more about Government House, the office of the Lieutenant Governor of Saskatchewan, please visit our website and Facebook page. Thank you for joining us.